Okay, so maybe I get a little too excited about new art supplies. Hi, Shanna Rowe Jackson here from Caution Arts at Play, and today I am going to be doing an art haul. Yay, new art supplies. I'm super excited. Basically, my birthday just passed, so I was able to get a bunch of different art supplies for my birthday and through gift cards, so that's what most of this came from. I'm going to start off with some of the smaller things and some of the gifty type things. This is something that my husband actually bought me. It's just a small sketchbook, 200 pages, 120 GSM, acid-free paper. I guess he actually picked this right up at Barnes & Noble. And I think this will be like the perfect little sketchbook just to take out and, you know, do like outdoor sketches with or just some, you know, quick sketches and things like that. So I'm really excited about that. And I want to apologize if my audio is a little bit echoey. I'm up in the studio and there's not a lot of things that are like sound absorbent up here yet. So I might be a little bit echoey. This is something else that my husband got me. And I'm really excited about this because this is my all-time favorite artist. So this is something else he picked up at Barnes & Noble. And I love getting different books with the master's works in them and learning about all the different masters. So this will go nicely in my little art library that I have going on. And I can't wait to really look through it thoroughly. His artwork is just so beautiful and he's a huge inspiration. So I'm very excited about this. Something else that I got for a gift, which is super exciting, is the 48 set of pit artist pens. Now this is a funny story. This was actually bought my, by two of my best friends. They went in on it for me and it got this for me. And then I came home after spending time with them for my birthday and my husband gave me my gift from him, which is this 60 set, which works out really well because there are a lot of double colors, but if you're an artist, you know it actually helps to double up on certain colors because if you go through them, then you'll have more. I think that these both came from Amazon. And I should mention that anything that I get here, I'll try to link in the description below if I am able to. Oh, and you can kind of see my reflection there. That's kind of creepy. Ooh, sorry. I'm in a weird mood. So... Basically, I'm not too upset about having the doubles because these are not refillable pens. So it's going to come in handy to have the doubles anyway. So if I use it up, I'll have more. But also, there's just a huge range here. And I don't know, I'm just super stoked. This was like the gift that I really, really wanted. So I'm very excited about that. The next thing is just something that I ended up getting off of Amazon. I had a gift card from Amazon and I bought a few things from Amazon. And this is something that I go through a lot of, so I decided to get the big jug of it soon. I use this a lot when I'm doing oil painting and when I'm doing colored pencil work. So that's just, that's my favorite OMS that I use and I decided to invest in a lot of it. The next thing also came from Amazon. And this is something that I've been looking for for a while. It's a nice resource for hazardous chemicals. And this is a very cool book because it breaks it down. Um, each chapter breaks it down by the kind of artwork that you do. So it has hazards of various media. So you've got a chapter for painting and drawing, printmaking, ceramics. And it basically just talks about the types of materials you're using, how to best handle them, which ones are poisonous, which ones are safe. And it's just kind of a quick rundown in each chapter, but it's thorough too. So it's, it's very interesting so far. I haven't read through the whole thing, but I have read through parts of it. And I think that it's going to be a great resource to keep on hand, especially when I'm trying new mediums. So this is something that I actually got myself. Um, my husband and I recently just went to the Bowdoin Museum of Art. And there was a Winslow Homer exhibit going on. I actually got myself a little magnet of one of his paintings. And this is a watercolor sketchbook. And I'll open it up so we can look at the pages. They had one there with the pages open so I could actually look at them. Um, 
but I've been wanting a watercolor sketchbook for a while because I want to start getting back into watercolor because that's one of the places where I started. And this is actually a picture of Winslow Homer's watercolor palette, which they had on display at the museum. That was super exciting. I thought that was very cool. So as soon as we got out to the gift shop, I saw this and I recognized it. I'm like, oh, and I really like the paper. It looks like it might be cold pressed, but it feels really thick. Let me see what it says on the back. I don't remember. Um, doesn't really give a whole lot of information about... It just pretty much has the size. It doesn't really give me any information on the paper itself. But it feels like it's at least 140 in weight. And it has a slight texture. I don't know if you can see that. So it does seem like it might be cold pressed. It doesn't appear to be rough and it's certainly not hot pressed. So I'm going to go with cold pressed. So I'm very excited about this. This is also something that I can do some field studies in because it's not very large, but it will take wet media. And of course, you can't go wrong with a fun magnet. Okay, so something else that I got. As you know, I've been on a smelly kick. If you saw my last video, I got the Mr. Sketch markers, which I was super excited about because, you know, I'm a child. But something that I found on Amazon that was just as fun as, and exciting is scented mechanical pencils. So I think it's actually just the grips that are smelly, but they actually, I smelled through there and they smell really good. I couldn't resist this when I saw it on Amazon. Um, I, use a, I use mechanical pencils a lot for my preliminary drawings. So, and I use them a lot when I'm doing homework and stuff for school. I apologize for this glare. I hope it's not too distracting. The lighting's kind of wonky. Um, but I just couldn't resist. I always get mechanical pencils when I can, and they smell good, so you can't really go wrong there. As far as mechanical pencils go, I went to Walmart the other day because we needed a few things, and I picked up a bunch of extra mechanical pencils. They still had a bunch of back-to-school products out, and these were really cheap, and they're just the big mechanical pencils, but again, I use them quite a bit for preliminary drawings and homework and stuff. And I'm always losing them or my boxer chews on them. So either way, I always need more. While I was at Walmart, I found myself in the craft section, the arts and crafts section, who to thunk it. And I found this paper and it was only like five bucks for the whole pad. I love the XL mixed media spiral notebook. So I thought that I would try their watercolor paper. I mean, it was so dirt cheap that I couldn't resist. And if anything, I can at least like use it to like try out techniques and try out materials that, you know, just to see how they work and stuff, even if I can't do finished work on it. But I have heard pretty good things about this paper, so I'm pretty excited to try it out. It is cold press. It's 140 pound. I think it'll... I think it'll work well for some things and really for five bucks and that much paper, like 30 sheets, you really can't go wrong. So I haven't even seen what condition this is in. Oh, I can't get it out. Okay, the struggle was real with that packaging, so I just had to pause it for a second. So I have been wanting to get into trying some oil pastels. If you follow me, you know that I love trying different mediums, and oil pastels is one I have not really thoroughly explored. I have some, what is it? I have the Craypa oil pastels, and I have played around with those a little bit, but I wanted to try the Geoconda ones, the Koh Noor ones, because I love their soft pastels. So I decided why not get a 12 set, not very expensive on Amazon. I can't remember exactly how much I spent, but I will, I'll post it in the description below so you can see prices and stuff of all this stuff. And, oh, I <laughs> opened it upside down. That's helpful, Shanna. So here we go. There's a nice range of colors in this set, as you can see on the front. They have some a good range between warm and cool colors and some good earthy colors. I think this is a good set to start with and play with. As I said, I really enjoy their soft pastels, so I'm anxious to try these. I know the techniques are going to be totally different, but 
I just love to try new things and challenge myself with different mediums. So you'll probably see that in an upcoming video. Oh, that's hanging out. I'll fix that later. Okay, and now for the big box, which doesn't really show very well on camera. Okay, this is my Jerry's orders. I think it's always a good idea just to ask for art-related gift cards. I can't always afford to splurge on art supplies like I would like to, so... A lot of times my best chance of getting a bunch of new things that I haven't tried or stocking up on things that I'm running out of is around the holidays and, of course, my birthday. So, in the spirit of trying out oil pastels, I also got the test pack of the Sennelier oil pastels. And they actually have a bunch of different test packs. And I think that's a great way to try it because Sennelier is a really good company. It's a great brand. But they tend to be a little bit pricey, so these test packs are a lot cheaper. I think they, like, range from, like, I don't even remember how much. Like, I feel like it was around, like, $10, maybe a little bit more at the most. Which seems like a lot for that, but it's a much better than having to buy a bigger set and then not liking it. So I'm going to try these out and just see how well they work and see if I want to invest in more and maybe compare them to the Koei Noir and see which ones I'd rather invest in. Okay, so, let's see. So much packaging. Oh, I ordered a few colors of pan pastels. I already have the 24 painting set, but these are colors that I thought might complement some of the colors I have already. These are nice earthy greens. And um, as somebody who really likes to do landscapes, I thought that they'd be great. And I just really could not resist this violet, this extra dark violet. I just think it's beautiful. I don't even, I'm not even sure what I'll use it for, but I'm excited to have it. So that will go nicely with the pan pastels that I already have. And I really like the 24 set of pan pastels. I think that it's a great way to start. So these... I'm assuming are all my paints, so let me get these out. Okay, so one of the paints that I got was the Griffin Elkid Oil. This is my favorite kind of oil paint, and I've been looking for a really good red that's also light fast. What I do when I buy for paint, like open stock, I really like to go to the manufacturer's websites and check all the light fast ratings first, and that's what I had done, and this was pretty much one of the only colors that I still needed. So I'm really excited about this. It's the only oil paint that I bought this time. And then the other paints that I bought were watercolors. I have been trying to upgrade my watercolors and I have been investing in some of the M. Graham watercolors. So I just got a bunch of colors, again, according to light fastness, that I think will work well in my palette. I got the Azo Yellow. I got Hooker's Green, Scarlet Pyrrole, Cobalt teal, cobalt teal, cobalt. That sounds so weird for some reason as I'm saying it. Ultramarine violet deep, neutral tint, and raw umber. So I'm pretty excited about those. As I mentioned, I want to get back into watercolor. And then the last thing is a pastel board because I love the ampersand boards, and I go through these quite a lot. I like to use them with pastel, obviously, but I also love to use them for colored pencil. All right, so that is it today for all my goodies. I hope that you enjoyed watching. I know it's probably not the most extravagant art haul that you've watched, but I'm pretty excited about it. I will link everything in the description below, and... You will likely see a lot of these products being used in future videos. All right, thank you for watching. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe. Also, if you're interested in seeing more of my artwork, I'm on social media, so check out the links in the description below.